Surrounded by cobbles, boulders, and large sand drifts, Perseverance struggled to find a way out. Its autonomous navigation system guided it along a looping path that ended within view of one of the strangest rocks ever seen on Mars. On this episode of Mars Guy, shortly after I posted the previous episode, Perseverance managed to exit self-driving rover Purgatory, shown with Mars Guy for scale. And note that this is a place with some really weird rocks. In what looks like an act of redemption, Perseverance may have even broken its previous single sol drive distance record of 320 meters. It's a maybe because the NASA map combines two drives into one, and I had to estimate the length of the first drive using a string. Regardless, it's a stunning turn of events compared to the previous two drives. But it's worth going back to the navigation challenge drive of Sol 905, which went awry at this large sand drift, because there are some new images downlinked after I posted the previous episode. Perseverance was supposed to go in a westerly direction, but it turned south after encountering the sand drift. This set it on a wandering path that looped back on itself, ending in this location. The navcam images were downlinked on that sol, and they show some rocks eroded into very strange shapes, including this hollowed out cobble and an even freakier boulder that looks like it's got some kind of vase stuck onto it. The higher resolution images from MassCam Z came down later and show that it's just a trick of the light. But there are still some real oddities, like this rock with two holes punched into it, and this one with a gaping mouth, maybe expressing disbelief, and this one with surfaces so convoluted that they trick the eye like a good Escher drawing. Among this collection is the one you've clicked to see, the one I've dubbed the Stone Sombrero, for obvious reasons. The Martian that lost it must have had a small head. Here it is in Flickr Vision, a technique I first presented in episode 126 to help give a 3D perspective to rover images. This rock is a remarkable artifact of erosion that defies easy explanation. Clearly, wind and sand and time have acted on what likely started out as a boulder rounded during transport by floodwaters that delivered it to the Jezero fan deposit. But maybe wind-driven sandblasting has been aided by chemical alteration, a consequence of the comings and goings of polar ice known to arise as Mars wobbles on its spin axis, referred to as obliquity variations. All we can say for sure is that there's something about many of the rocks in this place that leads to very weird erosional outcomes. Maybe it's some combination of their mineralogy, texture, and transport history that makes them susceptible to very non-uniform erosion. With enough rocks and enough time, some of them are going to end up with a shape that resembles something we recognize. That's pareidolia like seeing recognizable shapes in clouds. Maybe even Perseverance experiences pareidolia. It drove past the stone sombrero once, then looped back and stopped in just the perfect spot to see it again. Coincidence? Yes, very likely, but check out how its wind sensor boom is pointing toward it. Maybe Perseverance wanted to make sure that we got a look at the stone sombrero, before moving on. 